Princess Diana, 19-year-old Lady Diana Spencer and 32-year-old Charles Prince of Wales became engaged in February 1981. Her engagement ring consists of 14 solitaire diamonds surrounding a 12 carat oval blue Ceylon sapphire set in 18 carat white gold. Diana's selection of this ring was unusual. It was neither custom made nor unique and was at the time featured in a jewellery collection and was available to anyone for purchase. Diana may have selected it because it reminded her of her mother's engagement ring. Queen Elizabeth II The diamonds for Queen Elizabeth's engagement ring came from a tiara belonging to Prince Philip's mother, Princess Andrew of Greece. Prince Philip designed the square cut diamond engagement ring with the diamond side stones and had it set in platinum. The Queen still wears this ring every single day, paired with her Welsh gold wedding band. Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York, in 1986, after a whirlwind romance, Prince Andrew proposed to Sarah Ferguson with an oval coat Burmese ruby. Because it matched the colour of her fiery red hair, the ruby is surrounded by 10 diamonds, forming a flower pattern on a yellow gold band. Afterward, ruby engagement rings were in extremely high demand. Sophie Rhys Jones, Countess of Wessex. Prince Edward gives Sophie a two carat oval diamond surrounded by two smaller heart shaped gems. The ring is valued at around £150,000. Queen Victoria. On the announcement of their engagement in 1839, Prince Albert presented Queen Victoria with an 18 carat gold serpent engagement ring. The head of the serpent was adorned with rubies for the eyes, diamonds for the mouth, as well as a large emerald set in the centre, representing Victoria's birthstone. Whilst a serpent may seem an unusual choice for an engagement ring, it is an ancient Roman symbol for everlasting love and was a popular expression of adoration during these times. The Queen Mother The Duke of York gave Lady Elizabeth Bowes Lyon a sapphire ring. The ring had diamond accents and was complemented by a Welsh gold wedding band. Eventually she decided to swap her engagement ring for a large pearl surrounded by diamonds. Alexandra of Denmark. In 1862, Edward VII proposed to Alexandra with a gold acrostic style ring at the Royal Palace of Larkin in Belgium. The names of the gemstones spelled Bertie in reference to the name that Alexandra affectionately called her husband to be. Princess Madeleine of Sweden. Her engagement ring features a large ashercut stone in a minimalist setting on a platinum diamond band. She paired it with a matching delicate wedding band.
Camilla Parker Balls, Duchess of Cornwall. If you thought Camilla's ring looks familiar, it might be because it belonged to the Queen Mother. The Duchess of Cornwall received it from Prince Charles in 2005. He gave it to her after he inherited it from his grandmother. It's still shining bright as ever. I think this ring is stunning. It's most definitely one of my favourites. But personally, I have no regard for this woman. Grace Kelly, Princess of Monaco. Soon after Grace met Prince Rainier, he proposed with a jewel from Cartier. It was a delicate eternity band set with rubies and diamonds for the colours of Monaco. But soon after, it was changed for a platinum 10.47 carat emerald cut diamond with two baguette diamonds on each side. Queen Letizia of Spain. Her non-traditional ring doesn't include a centre diamond or gemstone. Instead, her band features 16 vertically set baguette cut diamonds in a platinum setting. Princess Margaret. Five years after her engagement to group captain Peter Townsend fell apart, Queen Elizabeth's younger sister received a ruby engagement ring that was designed by her future husband, photographer Anthony Armstrong Jones. The ruby surrounded by diamonds was created in honour of the princess's middle name, Rose. Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex. Prince Harry designed Meghan Markle's stunning three-stone diamond ring himself. The centre gem comes from Botswana, a country near and dear to the couple's heart. We were really ourselves, which was crucial to me to make sure we had a chance to get to know each other, Harry said. The two smaller stones belong to Harry's mother, Princess Diana. He said he included them as a way to make sure she is with us on this crazy journey together. Princess Alexandra Queen Elizabeth's cousin got quite a special ring before she married Sir Angus Ogilvie. He presented Alexandra with an engagement ring made of a Kubishon sapphire set in gold. Wallace Simpson Edward VIII abdicated the throne to marry twice divorced American Wallace Simpson. He presented her with a 19.77 carat emerald ring. The inside of the ring was inscribed with the words, We are ours now, 2736. The numbers are shortened for the date he proposed, October 27th, 1936. Queen Maxima of the Netherlands. This engagement ring also has symbolic significance, as it has an unusual orange diamond, the national colour of the Netherlands. Maxima and Crown Prince Willem Alexander announced their engagement on the 30th of March 2001 and married the following year. Brigitte, Duchess of Gloucester. Her husband, Prince Richard, put his architectural interests to good use 
when he designed this special coral diamond and silver ring. Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge Prince William carried his mother's sapphire engagement ring with him in his backpack for three weeks before finally asking Kate to marry him. He proposed in a Spartan log cabin during their Kenyan holiday. Minutes after Kate appeared wearing it for the first time, jewellery stores around the world started getting calls from clients looking for sapphire rings. Now it is valued at more than £300,000 but of course is considered priceless. Princess Anne Mark Phillips proposed to Princess Anne with a classic sapphire set between two diamonds. The princess also received a sapphire ring from her second husband, Timothy Lawrence, bought with a cabochon stone flanked by three diamonds on each side. This one was more bohemian in style. Princess Sophia of Sweden The brilliant cut centre diamond is surrounded by a circle of smaller diamonds that also line the band. Prince Carl Philip has said that he had a hand in its design. Zara Tyndall Equestrian Zara Tyndall received a custom designed diamond and platinum ring with a divided diamond band from former rugby player Mike Tyndall. Princess Eugenie of York Jack Brooksbank proposed to Princess Eugenie with a blush coloured Pad Paraja sapphire ring surrounded by diamonds. The rare gemstone known for its unique pink orange glow is most typically found in Sri Lanka. It also bears a striking resemblance to the ring her mother, Sarah Duchess of York, received from Prince Andrew in 1986. Autumn Phillips Princess Anne's son, Peter Phillips, was the first of Queen Elizabeth's grandchildren to marry. He met Autumn Kelly at the 2003 Canadian Grand Prix and proposed with a platinum ring containing an oval centre diamond with more diamonds on either side. Crown Princess Metamara of Norway Crown Prince Håkon of Norway shared the happy news that he had proposed to girlfriend Metamara on the 1st of December 2000 and her engagement ring was incredibly sentimental. Having been worn by three generations of Swedish royal women, the yellow gold ring is set with diamonds and rubies. Crown Princess Mary of Denmark Mary's square diamond ring with two rubies on either side was fitting because it represented the red and white of the Danish flag and is quite simply a spectacular symbol of her introduction into royalty. Maria Theresa, Grand Duchess of Luxembourg A large round diamond ring and a thin diamond halo with more diamonds on the band. Princess 
Princess Charlene of Monaco. The ring is called Tethys. In classic mythology, Tethys was a titan, a daughter of Uranus and wife of Oceanus. In astronomy, it is one of the moons of Saturn. In geology, it is an ocean or seaway in the Mediterranean Sea. It's a three-carat pear-shaped diamond with brilliant diamonds embellishing on the sides, set in grey gold. Queen Sylvia of Sweden One isn't enough for the Queen of Sweden. She wears a set of three that includes a diamond solitaire, a diamond strip and a magnificent ruby on a band lined with diamonds. Princess Michael of Kent Michael presented Marie Christine with a two stone sapphire and diamond ring made from stones that belong to his mother, Princess Marina. Pippa Middleton Although not technically royalty, Pippa Middleton was renowned as the world's most eligible bridesmaid during her sister and brother-in-law's royal wedding nuptials. But not for long. When James Matthews dropped to one knee for Pippa's hand in marriage, he did so with a stunning five-carat Art Deco diamond engagement ring worth £120,000. Victoria, Crown Princess of Sweden. She has an engagement ring which features a round diamond solitaire in a knife edge setting. Queen Marguerite II of Denmark. Featuring two huge square cut diamonds in the Trois et Moi style, one stone representing the bride and the other representing the groom. The unusual design is reflective of its very creative wearer. Princess Claire of Luxembourg. After her engagement to Prince Felix was announced, Claire was spotted in this ring, an oval diamond with a hefty diamond band. Princess Stephanie of Monaco. She wears a wedding band on her left hand and had an engagement ring tattooed on her right. And which one of these is your favourite engagement ring? And this concludes the video. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please click the like button, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe for future videos. Thank you.